Hi everyone, this is Sharon Anderson. Um, hi everyone, Sharon Anderson here. Um, I'm here to welcome you to uh, the Independent Publishing, an overview um, what every writer and author should know. Uh, this is an independent publishing workshop. Now, independent publishing also means self-publishing. So this is what every writer and author should know. Slide. Huh. Writing, this is about your book. Writing is all about you. Publishing is about the book. And marketing is about the reader. There are three ways to publish. Traditional publishing, which is, you know, traditional publishing. Hybrid publishing, which is usually um, PO, POD publishing. We'll go into that in a few minutes. And independent publishing or self-publishing. Traditional publishing, these are the five biggies, uh, both here and uh, on the continent. The Hatchet Group, HarperCollins, Macmillan, Penguin, Random House, and Simon and & Schuster, and I know you, those are all familiar names to you. If you, if you read any books, they are. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hybrid publishers, commonly known as the POD publisher, which is print on demand. Um, book Locker, I used to, I have done some publish, I published some books with Book Locker quite a while ago. And they've been around for quite a while. Very uh, a good um, hybrid publisher, and she did this whole this this um, whole chart so she you could see the diff what the different publishing houses um, charge. Independent publishing, um, that's us. <laughs> it's Amazon, of course. Uh, Ingram Spark has been around for a while. B&N Press, which is Barnes & Noble Press, and Kobo. Kobo is a Canadian company. Um, when you publish with Amazon KDP, which is Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, uh, your ebook publishes in 12 countries. The UK, Denmark, Spain, France, Italy, uh, the Netherlands, Japan, Brazil, Canada, Mexico, Australia, and the U.S. Your print book publishes in seven countries. UK, the U.S., Denmark, France, Spain, Italy, and Japan. Uh, let's talk about ISBN numbers, which is your international standard book numbers. Um, every print book that's ever been done since quite a few years ago, has an ISBN, and that's worldwide. Um, <clears throat> it's only a print book. The uh, ISBNs, most ebooks e do not have one. Um, Boker is um, probably the leading uh, manufacturer uh, of ISBNs, and how they keep track of them, I have no idea, but. If you want to buy, um, get your own ISBNs, you, I would recommend Boca. <clears throat> Our little copyright symbol, uh, and you know, I recommend any work that you do, you immediately put that copyright symbol on, whether it's something in the art or whether it is um, <clears throat> a, a book or your manuscript, or a poem, or a short story. You put the copyright symbol on it. It's the exclusive legal right given to an originator or an assignee to print, publish, perform, film, or record literary, artistic, or musical material, and to authorize others to do the same. Draft to digital. Draft to digital is a um, a service that I use to uh, other than um, Kindle, uh, KDP rather, other than Amazon. 
I use draft to digital to put my books out. And the reason I use them is because look at all the places that uh, they send your book to. Um, <clears throat> over, I look at them as um, more or less a um, like an agent. And these are the places where your book would go. Um, let's see, can we pull a pen up here? Highlighter? No. Let me do a pen here. Can I do that? Kobo, of course, we've spoken about that. Uh, Barnes and Noble, booksellers. Apple Book, um, Playster, Tolino, and Scribe. Um, Overdrive. 24 symbols in Bibliothek. Uh, these are all, those are the libraries and how your book gets into other libraries. So they're offered on all of these, and I think there are a couple more. I don't think I have them all here. But these are all subscribed, um, how shall I say it? These are all people that have subscribed to these different um, services. So your book would go out to all of these different services. BookBub, also um, a very well-known, um, sophisticated site with, uh, according to them, <laughs> hundreds of bestsellers, well-known authors, and not so bestsellers. You can become a BookBub partner and recommend books and follow authors. And they're similar to Goodreads, only I think they're a little more sophisticated. They do offer um, selling, uh, they do offer presentations. You can use them to um, sell your book, but they're a little bit more expensive. We'll talk about that later. That's more uh, uh, marketing. Here we are. Written Word Media. I use Written Word Media. Um, I think they're... Uh, I think they're a pretty good um, way to uh, send your book out, to um, advertise your book. Um, they have the four, actually I think they have one more that I don't have on here. <clears throat> they have free books, see, which um, all the books on that site are free. Bargain books, see, they're 99 cents and up to I think $5.99. Red Feather Romance, which is kind of your see-me romances, and New in Books, which is a little bit different. You have to have um, have to have quite a few reviews before you can use New in Books. They have uh, written word media. When you use them to um, promote your book, they have uh, subscribers, and they have probably I don't know, some fantastic number of subscribers. But um, they break it down in different genres, and so um, I send, I use Bag and Booksy, and I send my book out uh, under Cozy Mysteries. Or they also um, offer um, children's books too. How long does it take? How long does it take to get your book published? If you go the traditional publishing route. It takes one to two years. If you go hybrid publishing, it takes one year to at least 18 months. Um, this is rule of thumb, but they're pretty close. Surprise, self-publishing. You can be out, if you self-publish, you can be up and selling your book on the internet in two or three months. You know, that's neat to know, huh? <laughs> Formatting your book. Uh, this is kind of important. I do recommend Microsoft Word um, for your your text. Um, I do recommend Canva, c a n v a dot com, for your cover. And um, I also need to mention PDF file because when you uh, save your book to send it for print, you use a PDF file. And we'll talk about that later, too, I think. Uh, Microsoft Word. Oh, if you're not working in Microsoft Word, you better start, honestly. 
Uh, it's the best program to use. It's recognized throughout the industry. It's also a very powerful program. I recommend you get to know it. Um, I do all my books on Microsoft Word, from sizing them to formatting them to, uh, you know, sending them to KDP. And I use KDP. And I also recommend KDP uh, Amazon to anyone that goes to publish with me, too. PDF. What is a PDF file? A PDF file is a portable document file format. That's what PDF stands for. Um, it was developed by Adobe in 1990, and believe it or not, we're still using it. Your information is sent in the exact format, just format, just the way you publish, you print it. Um, that's why I format everything in uh, Microsoft Word and save it to a PDF file and send it to uh, KDP for a print book. And uh, your covers also are usually sent in um, PDF format. Canva. I love Canva. I think it's great. <laughs> I use it for everything. Um, I use it for my ebook covers. Uh, multiple. It's a multiple use program. You can use it for any of your Facebook, for Instagram, for uh, Pinterest, and it's free. Right, and it's free. They do also also offer a paid program, you know, an upgrade, uh, which I have finally done because I'm on there for so much. But I use it for all of my covers and anything I put out on Facebook um, or, uh, you know, any medias that I'm using, Pinterest, uh, Instagram. So I recommend Canva. And the free program is pretty uh, powerful. Okay. Five hooks. This is your in-house marketing. This is something that you use um, almost unconsciously, but it's a big marketing tool. In fact, it's one of the most important. The five hooks, uh, uh, in-house, <laughs> I call it in-house marketing, is the first one is your title. Your title is one of the first things that grabs a reader. Next is the cover. That's the next thing they look at. Then your blurb, which is your description. I use blurb, but it's your description. And then your first chapter. And I'll tell you why. You know, when you go on Amazon site, you know, they have a look inside. And that's pretty much the first 10 pages of your book. And the last one, the, five, the fifth hook, is your author bio. People want to know who wrote this. Who is this person? So those are your five hooks, your title, your cover, your blurb, your first chapter, and your author bio. Kalytics. Um, I love Kalytics. I love um, Alex. He's just such a, a genuine person. Um, he does his analysis of what's happening in the ebook market is incredible. And he uses Amazon, of course, because they have the most books, ebooks. Um, and it, it's, it's in ebook marketing, insights to success. In other words, he'll analyze, um, let's say, romance. And he's the one that found out that there were over 300 sub genres in romance. But he, and he'll narrow into one sub genre and um, tell you, you know, what the trend has been. Um, I noticed he did, um, a while ago, he did uh, some analysis of, um, um, like, um, oh, what was that book? Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. And you could see on his chart how it went up and it peaked and now it's definitely on the downslide. So it was interesting to watch that. Um, he does research from the Amazon Kindle store. He focuses on sales data from specific genres and subgenres. And if, you, if you're writing in a particular genre, you can check his site 
and see if he's already done some kind of an analysis. He'll even give you the keywords right there. Keywords, which ones to use, and categories, where to offer your books. It's an excellent tool. I can't recommend it more highly. By the way, Alex is from Germany. 10 Trends for 2020. This is new. I've added it to, the, um, to this presentation. There are 10 trends coming up from 20, for 2020, and this came from, um, oh dear, Written Word Media. Uh, they, they say that audiobooks will grow, and definitely I can see that trend already. Uh, marketing collabor collaboration. You're going to see more and more authors getting together and writing you know, like two authors per book, or uh, but you're going to see more um, and selling their book together. You know, you'll see um, writers in the same genre coming together and putting their books uh, in in a group and um, selling them that way. You're going to see more author groups. Um, the decline in free groups, free books. Thank heaven. I'm glad they're getting out of that. Um, it, it, it's sad, I think, when um, you look at a, a book that's taken you maybe two years to write and offer it for free because that's what's, the, what's happening in the market. I, I think it's pretty difficult, you know, to let your book go. I have one free book for my series, but it's an introduction. I call it a pilot. Um, you can do it that way if you've written a, a series and you want you want to you know start boosting your sales. Um, you can put it you can put your first book free if you'd like. Um, but I'm glad to see that there is a decline in free books. Ads are a requirement. Um, absolutely, you have to advertise your book. It's not going nobody's going to know it's there unless you advertise it. Uh, these are the rest of the trends. Um, the big five will use KDP Select, and I think that was kind of an interesting analysis. Um, KDP Select is something that Amazon has created, and it does well. Uh, your books, um, when your books are in there, uh, depending on how well they, they are selling and how many reviews you have, um, KDP Select has a fund that they award. Um, if you go on Amazon, you can read all about it. Number seven, the scams will continue. Obviously, you can understand that one. Uh, all kinds of scams out there. Be sure what you uh, get yourself involved in. Um, the ebook e market will expand. Absolutely. Um, I I read somewhere. Oh, I know there is. I think I may have included it here. And um, if we don't get to it, I'll let you know at the end. So, um, ebook market will expand, but your email list will increase in value. That's a very important marketing tool. Um, I can't <clears throat> stress enough how important your email lists are. And then Indies, number 10, Indies seek new ways to monetize. Yes, um, I can see that happening. Um, hmm. have no idea what we're going to do, but we'll be a little bit more creative. Okay. Um, final thoughts. Oh, this is the one. I remember I said to you, I didn't know if I had included it, but I did. Penny Sansevieri came up, has written a book called Five Minute Book Marketing for Authors, and she's pretty well known, and her books, you know, have sold quite well. But she gave out this statistic, and I, I understand it, and I can fully see why, where it came from. But now we're talking globally. There are 4,500 books published daily. And if you think of that in a global sense, you can see how that would happen. 
that's a pretty incredible number, isn't it, huh? Okay, now, you should have your own goals for success. I do. Um, I've written a little business plan, but my goals like this, um, and, and it's called SMART, S-M-A-R-T. It's a good way to remember it. Keep your goals simple. In other words, don't write these big, wordy goals. Keep them simple. Number two, make sure they're manageable. I mean, you can write pie-in-the-sky goals, but if you can't carry them out, then they're not worth anything. Number three, make them attainable. Um, again, you have to... <laughs> I'd love to use this one. You can eat an elephant one bite at a time. Okay. So make sure your goals are attainable. Um, number four, realistic. In other words, um, keep them within the values of your own values. Make them realistic. Make them real to you. And number five, which is the T, Make sure they're timely. In other words, they're going to work for you right now and in the very near future. So your goals for success, remember the word SMART. Simple, manageable, attainable, realistic, and timely. And we're open for questions and answers, but obviously, since this is a, <laughs> a presentation, <laughs> you really don't want to do that. So, I thank you for being here. I thank